Good morning. Welcome to East Tucson Baptist Church. I'm Carl, and this is the Prayer and Reflection Time. Two weeks ago, we talked about how God gives us unique personalities and strengths. Last week, I talked about how God uses our weaknesses for His ministry, and how we are encouraged to step out of our comfort zone to do the ministry of God. This week, I'd like to look at Ephesians 4, verse 12, and I'll include a paraphrase of 11 for context. He gave us our spiritual gifts, and verse 12, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of service, to the building up of the body of Christ. So this week, let's pray to God to show us what ministry He wants us to start at this church. God created us with unique strengths. What, how can we use those unique strengths for the ministry here? What new ways can we reach out to people? Some ideas for unique ministries that I remember is we had an event with our high school group called So You Are 16. And what it was is a basic car maintenance class for our high school students that had just gotten their driver's license. It was led by a group of car guys, and so we had a chance for these guys to practice their interest and serve the church. Another group of people from a different church, they were into sewing. And so what they did is they sewed quilts, which they gave away to the Crisis Pregnancy Center. Both these ministries are unique because they relied on the strengths of the members involved, but they also did not require a Bible degree in order to do. And so to help you kind of get some more ideas, my youth pastor used to have four categories that I would set up events in. Now, events can easily cover multiple categories, but the idea was to look for a primary focus on each one. And also, I tell you these ideas just so that you can think outside the box, what you usually think of as a ministry event. So first, we have outreach. Outreach is where we try to bring people, try to bring the community into the church. And an example of that is our trunk or treat event. Another event is a fellowship. And fellowship is bringing the church closer together. Our Boots and Burgers is an example of this. The third category is discipleship. That is where we grow closer to God. The uh, Promise Keeper event that we went to a few years back, that is a good example. It is also an example that our, the planning on our part was just logistical. Then we have service, which is meeting the needs of the community. In the back of the church here, we have a white box that says Community Food Bank, and it's where we receive donations for the Community Food Bank in our church. So for the month of February, I'd like you to think about these things and pray to God about what ministry that you can be starting here at East Tucson Baptist Church. What unique way has God created you to serve here? What ministry could your strengths bring Him honor? So some things to keep in mind. First, this is not a thing of we, but of me. What ministry has God called you to take responsibility for? And what I mean is that this isn't something that we can have a dream of a ministry that we expect other people to fulfill but something that God has called us to step out in faith to do. Also, not everyone is going to get a yes answer on this. Many people will probably get a no answer. But still pray. Instead, pray how I can support these new ministries that are coming up. So pray for opportunities to serve and support these new ministries that are starting. So will you please pray with me? Lord, I thank you for this day that we can come together and worship you, celebrate what you've done, and to thank you for the privilege we have of serving you. Lord, I pray for a new ministry in this church, that you show us, you show me where you want me to start something new. And how you want me to do it. 
Lord, I also pray that there's courage for those of us who are going to start these new ministries, that we have to step out of our comfort zone and do something bold for your name. Lord, give us that courage, that courage to serve. And I also pray that I know many of us make it a no answer for leading a new ministry, but help us to be supportive, to support these new ministries as they come up, and help fill in the needs that others may be lacking. Lord, we do this for your name, so that we may grow your body, the body of the church, to honor and glorify you. In these things we pray, Lord. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. And let's continue on with our service today.